it's me i'm back it's tanel of kinky to the core and this is not a tutorial this is not a product review this is not a favorites or anything like that this is just me coming straight to you talking about a subject that is what should i say mm, it bothers me but then it don't but it's just a rant i have to say Okay, recently I joined a group on Facebook called Four Type Natural Hair. And um, every time I will go and I will comment on a page or um, just to see what's going on on the page, just to give any suggestions or help other naturals out, um, people who recently would join the group would tag themselves, will tag a picture and say thank you for. Um, let me be in this group. I hope to find out different things about us Kippy. By the way, what's my type? Scroll down a little further. It's a picture. What's my type? What, what do you guys think? What's my type? And that kind of bothers me because I've been natural for going over two, over two years now. Natural. I big chopped this July will be two years that I big chopped. And I never was concerned about my type. I always paid attention to my hair, even when I was relaxed. I always tried to maintain healthy hair, regardless, even with the relaxer, you know. So I always, you know, will go to the salon. I even worked at a salon as a shampoo girl. So I kind of knew things about my hair in hair in general because my best friend is a stylist. So anyway, I kind of knew what I was getting into. A little before I got into it I should say so I never had the expectations of my hair being curly I knew I would have kinks or coils or very tight coils so I always knew that I would fall in the quote-unquote four type but I never was um, so particular into saying I'm 4A I'm 4B I'm 4C um, to be honest all of us have multiple hair types. A lot of people range from two to three. Me, myself, I have three different types in my hair. I range from 4A to 4C. So, um, that being said, I never was, I never did press the issue to even find out what my hair type was, what it was. Um, my main goal was to have healthy hair and to embrace myself as a natural, to look at myself as confident as I possibly did as when I was relaxed as the two when I was natural because of course it's not the norm in our community you know most of us have grew up being natural then got the relaxer and then transition back to natural again so that being said I didn't focus on that I focused on learning what my hair was learning what I needed to do and not do to have healthy natural hair because natural hair is totally different than relaxed hair. So those are my step. And then number two was to see how long I can grow my hair out. And number three was to learn and research or vice versa. Length is always last to me because I never had long hair before. So if I decided to cut it off tomorrow, I'm not going to be disappointed at all. So back to the hair typing. You know, it's like, it's to me, it's like, you know... Is it a light skin versus dark skin thing? Good hair versus bad hair? Natural hair is natural hair. You know, we all have different hair types. Even if you are the same type. So, if you are 4C or like I me, mean, I'm 4 type and I see somebody whose hair that looks similar to mine, it's not the same. My hair is my hair. Your hair is your hair. There's no comparison, comparison or anything like that. YouTubers and vloggers and bloggers, we're here to encourage and to help you embrace your natural beauty. So don't go into it thinking my hair is going to look like hers when it's not. Or trying to say, I'm four type so I can use this product or it worked for her, it will work for me. No, that's not the case. Everybody here is different. Everybody here reacts different to things. It's similar to DNA. It's one of a kind, just like your hair is one of a kind. So, um, another thing I want to touch on was, um, do we for type? I mean, why do we type hair? And type, and typing hair is just a guide 
to let you know what your pattern is when it, it is dry or when it's in its natural state. It's just a guide. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to look like that. And I know we have all seen the chart, which I will post, show you right here. And most women of color are either three three type or four type. So most women fall in between the three B to four all the way to four C. So those are the curls that we want to focus on. So why is it important to, um, to type here? So like I said, I'm not knocking people who want to know because there is um, a good thing in about um, knowing what type you are and that's pretty much hair care. Um, so if you know what type of hair that you have, um, you can better purchase products for yourself. Um, your styling method and your styling techniques may be different. So like for instance, me, um, I'm four type, as I stated. And I found out that as far as um, products are concerned and stylings and moisturizer, the thicker they are, the better it works for my hair. The looser, looser they are, not so much. So, um, another thing is um, styling techniques or methods. Um, like for me, I, I get a better twist out the longer that it lasts in my hair. Um, and I get a better definition the longer it lasts in my hair. And it lasts longer, so I may twist my hair out and not take it to two or three days. That's if I'm patient or not, but most of the time, I just take it out and I retwist it at night. And depending on if I go anywhere or not, then it'll just stay in my, just stay in my hair or not. Or if I'm coming to you to the video and I have to get jazzed up, then that's another different story. But these are things I learned along on my journey. Um, another thing is method, like because I have four type hair and my hair needs moisture, it's a must. Like I cannot go without moisturizing my hair. And I'm coming to a video right after this talking about moisture, so stay tuned for that. But pre pooing deep conditioning, like you know, when I first went natural, I was reading that you deep conditioner every four weeks or once a month. Not the case for me. I found out I got the best results and best moisture in my hair when I deep condition on a weekly basis. So regardless if I co-wash or if I regular shampoo my hair, I deep condition. Uh, I also find out found out that um, pre pooing like I said, works wonders for my hair because it automatically um, brings moisture in. Um, Ask moisture to my hair before I even begin the shampoo process. And if you haven't seen that video, then click this right here. Do you pre poo? So those are the things that I had learned along my journey. Um, I also learned that um, some products that people who are considered to be the same type as me, I will try them. For instance, uh, Shea Moisture, the hibiscus line. That's not for me, but um, the black Jamaican line, um, black Jamaican castor oil line works better for me. So it's not so much the brand, it's maybe so much the, what is the benefits for my hair. And um, so those are the things that you should be concerned about when you are asking about typing. So don't get into... Oh man, I'm 4C, that's the worst. I don't, you know, saying all hair is beautiful, all natural hair is beautiful. Um, I just want you guys to focus on learning your hair, learning what your hair likes, what it doesn't like, find out what it needs. Um, in regards if it's a product or a natural ingredient, things of that nature. So that's why I come to you guys with um, things that work for me. It may work for you, it may not work for you, but I. YouTubers and bloggers are here just to encourage you, to motivate you, and to keep you on the track. So don't get caught up in for the typing and all those type of stuff. And the only reason why I would hashtag for type hair or something like that so others can see or, you know, saying get a, get a chance to get advice or get some information about their hair. Now, will it work for them? No, it's, it, it may or it may not work for them. So those are the reasons why for typing to me 
um, or for typing. Hair typing to me is not as important. You know, your hair is your hair. That's my big thing. Your hair is your hair. Let me bring it closer. Your hair is your hair. This hair of mine, this is my hair. This 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 is mine. So I have I had to learn learn what works for me and what did not work for me. And um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my rant of the day. And it's just, you know, it was just an issue that was concerning me that, you know, are women wanting to know their hot hair types because of hair care and what products to use or were they so concerned about their curl pattern and what it would look? You know, like I said, all hair types and all hair curls are beautiful. So, that being said, embrace your natural beauty, embrace your natural hair, and all those things. This is just, your hair is an accessory. There's nothing else to it. It doesn't make or break us. Your hair type doesn't make or, or define you as a natural. Um, I briefly seen the post saying they showed um, a female, she was three type, and then they showed a female that was four type, and they said, this is natural, this is not. What? Really? That's just like saying um, a light-skinned person is not African-American or black because they're light-skinned. We come in different. That's, that's the glory and the beauty of being an African-American or a black person, period. We come in all different shapes and sizes, all different shades, um, all different type of hair texture. You know, we can do so much and be so different and unique within our own right. So embrace your uniqueness, embrace your dopeness, be dope in all that you can be. So don't worry about your hair type, worry about taking care of your hair, embracing your natural beauty, and always encourage others. I hope you got this, something out of this video. Excuse me for my rant, but it was just something that was weighing heavy on my heart. And, um, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. If you think or if you have any concerns or questions about hair type or um, does hair type bother you, please comment below. Uh, why do you find hair typing is important to you? Uh, because I'm always willing to learn. Um, do you think people are concerned about their curl pattern or are they concerned about their natural hair care? So, yeah, thumbs up this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can catch all my videos. Um, those who recently joined my family, thanks again. I'm small, but I'm growing. I'm up to, what, 43, 44 subscribers, something like that. So, yeah, so I'm just going to keep pushing these videos out, keep marketing so I can help others. And, yeah, once again, and as always, Thank you for watching. I love you for watching. See you in the next video.